All right, guys, I believe this is shop update number four. It is Monday night. I've been out here for just about the last six hours working on um, this new belt grinder right here. This is, let me think, that would be my fourth. This would be the beginning. Yes, I believe this would be the beginning of my fourth homemade belt grinder. Um, it's a two wheel design. All of my other belt grinders have been three wheel designs. Here is my uh, my personal one that I own. Uh, you can see it's got a top wheel, a drive wheel, and a tracking wheel back there. Now this one is unique in that it only has a drive wheel down there and a soon to be tracking wheel right here. Uh, you kind of see how that goes. The spring is inside the column. Well, besides that, I also got some new things. I went to the scrapyard the other day, and I found this sitting in the scrapyard. For those of you that don't know, it's a punching unit, a Whitney Power Punch, a hydraulic. It's, this is a hydraulic cylinder, and it's got a punch and a die right there. Um, kind of see that. There's the die. There's the punch. And, of course, the hydraulic lines leading to, yes, it came with the hydraulic power pack, uh, or the power unit, or whatever they're called, hydraulic, the pump, I guess. It came with that. It doesn't work, though. The pump, the motor's shot. Uh, the pump might work, so if I can replace the motor, I might do that. Or I can just get an entire new pump if I need to. I really hope this thing works, so. And uh, if it doesn't, it's not a big deal, though, because I got it for a steel twenty dollars for that and some other stuff so I'm very happy with that um yep besides that that is basically all that's been going on here so uh thanks for tuning in guys